how to play weekly DJ sets at the same venue. I'm DJ Spiegelspin and I'm gonna show you. I make videos that teach all types of DJs from beginners to professionals. So if you just like to learn how to DJ, to DJ at home for fun or with your friends, that's fine. But this video, I'm gonna teach you guys what to do once you get a gig that is weekly or maybe even two or three times a week at the same venue. Now this could be very challenging because you're gonna be at the same venue every single week. So this could be good because let's say that gig pays you 300 each day and you go there twice a week, that's $600 in one week. So you'll be well on your way to working as a full-time DJ if you could just get one of these places down. But the challenging part is you're gonna be playing for pretty much the same people. So think of it in your own personal life, like going out with your friends. So let's say um, every Thursday, me and my friends, we go to Mulligan's because they have $5 burgers and have price beer pitchers. So now you and your friends always go there. So there's regulars that you're gonna be DJing for. So you wanna keep these regulars happy and keep them coming back and keep the good feedback with the staff because the staff that works there, the bartenders, the bouncers, the barbacks, all these people, they're trying to work, trying to make a living, and this is what they do for work. And honestly, they don't wanna hear the same old music mixed the same way all the time. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to be really up to date on our music discovery, on our playlist, and our new mixing techniques. So DJ Pro makes it very easy for us to keep track and also discover new music. So I'm gonna show you guys some tips on how to keep every night fresh if you're playing at the same venue every single week. Let's jump right into this. The most important thing with these weekly DJ gigs is to make sure that we don't repeat the same songs every single week because it's just gonna annoy people, it's gonna annoy the staff, and it's gonna annoy the regulars at the bar or venue. So an easy way to keep track with DJ Pro is if you go over here to the music select button, if you see my mouse right here, we're going to the music select button over here. You could do e either one, click it, and then you're gonna be in, the first thing you're gonna see is over here, you're gonna be in your playlist. These are your pre-selected playlist. And then if you go into a streaming service, you have the streaming services options, but we're gonna be using the my collections section. So we click my, my collections and now we have all our pre-made playlists. I made a lot of videos on making these playlists so you guys can watch um, some of my other videos to learn how to make these playlists but here we're going to be looking at what they call sessions. Now other DJ software might call it something differently but this is a, a memory bank of your past DJ gigs. Okay so if you look over here at our sessions and it might be called this something different on other programs if you use Serato, Rekordbox, or anything like that, but it should look pretty similar. So if you scroll down, you could see all of the sets that you played labeled by the date and the time that you played it. So if we look over here, May 31st, 2022 at 11.27. Uh, I played these two. I think this was when I was just practicing scratching, but you get the point. Let me get to another one over here. So this is May 29th, 2022 at 8 p.m. I played a little DJ set at home for my wife. And these are all the songs that I played in the order that I played them. And so it'll tell you May 29th, 2022, 8 p.m. So let's say that every Thursday you're playing a DJ gig at Mulligan's. You could go back here and look. You could look at your calendar and look, okay, so last Thursday was the 26th and I have my DJ set at Mulligan's is from seven to 10. So it's probably this one from 747. And then there you go. You could see exactly what you played, but it could get a little confusing looking at your calendar, going back and forth like that. So DJ Pro has a really cool feature where you can edit. So if you press the edit button, now what we can do is we could go to one of these sessions. In the sessions, we'll go, we'll choose one. I'm just gonna choose one at random. And we're gonna go up here is the edit button. We're gonna press edit. So now you're gonna get the pencil mark in front of all of these sessions. 
and then you could also delete them like this. So if you just were practicing or whatever and you don't want to save it and you don't want to make it confusing, you could just delete some of these. So I suggest if you don't want to keep it, if it wasn't for one of these weekly DJ sets, then just delete them so you don't get confused because it literally saves every time that you DJ. So, and it'll also save you memory on your device if you're running low on memory on your iPad. So we'll press the pencil over here. So now we can edit. So we're gonna delete what it says, delete the whole thing, and then I'm gonna do Mulligans on August 5th, 2022. And then you press done. So now when you're scrolling through it, scrolling, 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 you'll see mulligans and the date. So I suggest doing this for all of the gigs that you do. All of these sessions should be filled out with important stuff. And if it's not important, just delete it so it doesn't confuse you. So the next one is going to be, let's just say, Mulligans on Mulligans eight fifteen twenty twenty two. So now you could use these references in a couple of ways. One of the ways is when you're preparing for your next one. So as a DJ, you should always be improving the songs that you have in your playlist, improving your mixing skills, learning new skills, and having new playlists set up. So I suggest that you have a playlist made for every one of these events. So if you're playing every Thursday, then during the week, Monday, Tuesday, over the weekend, you're going to be discovering new music, gathering new tracks, and then you could go over here, you go back to my collection, the playlist, and then you go to add playlist, and now we can name this Mulligans for 8 29th. So this is the next one, 22. So now you could build this playlist You could with the music you discovered with the playlist, and then you could be adding songs to it. And then if you want to know if you played this song in the past uh, at Mulligans, you could click on this and see. Oh, I played these songs on that day at that gig, so I'm not going to play all of these songs in the same order. Also, you could use it by saying, oh, last Thursday I played, and, I, and what was that song I played that everyone went nuts and everyone loved? You could click on it, and then you could use that song. So you could play one or two of the same songs every week, but just don't play the same 50 songs in the same order. So you could be using these sessions to know what you played to make sure you don't play the song or also to make sure that you do play the song. Another thing that you could do if you didn't have enough time to prepare for this gig and you're just kind of winging it, you could use this as a reference. If you don't remember what you played at the last one, you could use it as a reference with this one. Now also, if you stay at this gig for a while, like after six months or a year or however long it is, you could repeat the same playlist but maybe add a couple new songs, add a couple new stuff if it's like three months. So playing the same playlist every week will annoy people, but they're not going to remember the same thing. They're not going to be like, oh, he played those two songs in a row three months ago. No one's going to remember. They're going to be drinking, having a good time at the venue, and they're not really going to be keeping track. So this session's I think is one of the most overlooked features in DJ Pro, and a lot of people don't know it's there, but this will really help you with doing these weekly DJ gigs. And even if, if you're not doing weekly DJ gigs, just if you played at a venue and it worked out very well, you could reference this back. It's all saved and reference it back and then write down where you played it, what, what was the date, and how did it go. You could say, you could make one over here, edit, and then you could go over here and you could just write, don't play these songs. And then you could go back to it. If you're, you know, kind of winging it or making a new playlist, go over here. And then you know that this one, these songs, we're not going to play these songs 
ever again at a gig because it offended people or it wasn't great. So I hope this helped you guys stay organized and get more confidence and pursue these weekly DJ gigs because playing the same venue every week could be one of the most challenging things for a DJ. But if you're prepared and you use the tools that are given to you, it'll be fun and it's a great way to make a full-time income as a DJ. So if you like learning new stuff about DJing, how to DJ on the iPad and DJing with DJ Pro, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel because I make DJ videos every day.